Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. I am just over by the seaweed farm, and as we can see, it is going pretty fast with the World Accelerator. But as we can see, occasionally it does heat up like crops are right there. Yeah, but it's kind of cool to see it actually in action, and then when it goes back over, it'll plant them again. So, as we can see, the the farm is actually, they're basically almost always full until it goes over. But it's kind of cool to see the, uh, how it does the, the farm thing. Now, I don't think there's any other way to speed this up. Um, another sort of issue is the seeds. Since I can't, I was thinking I could do a, um... Do like 64 seaweed into the, um, yeah, do like 64, but since it's a pattern recipe, it won't let you do that. Um, I don't think. Um, if it was a processing recipe, I could do 64 to 64, but it's actually just uh, that kind of a recipe. So I don't, I really don't think there's any way. Yeah, there's only, that's the only way to do it. So, Kind of what I've been doing is uh, just kind of letting it run for a while and then, I don't know, do like 5,000 seeds and then I'll just craft up a bunch. But as we can see, that is going really fast. I have 23,000. I don't even, it wasn't even running that long uh, in between episodes. So, yeah, and then the Neutronium Manic I have in there. Yeah, I maybe mean, you can see how fast it's going down, but. It has four point something million um, durability. So I may end up just throwing a couple um, of those like upgrade or the things that give you more upgrade slots or whatever. And uh, cause I'm not about to sit around in 1800, try to level it up and hope I get a, a thing. So I may throw a couple on there and give it a couple more Reinforce because it already has a reinforced three from the neutronium. So, uh, but anyway, that is running, and unfortunately, I can't speed this up anyway. But I could, um, I'm debating if I want to just throw down like three more farmers, like maybe have four farmers kind of thing. Um, but I would have to sort out the channels. I don't know how many channels, I don't even know where those channels are connected to, to be honest. I think they're under here, if I remember correctly, but uh. Yeah, I'm just kind of letting that run for the moment. But I did want to, actually, while we're here, I'm going to, I think it's, yeah, there's the hole. I'm actually going to borrow this. And I want to check something else out. And that is putting this on here because this is taking forever. I have 83 of these things and it takes a quite a long time. So I... Uh oh, something... Uh, I just realized that may be an issue. It may pull the stuff off too fast. Past, actually, now that I'm like looking at that. All right, I may need to slow it down. I did test it. And, uh. I'm supposed to go there. So one, two, three. That one's supposed to go. Here or something, I think. I don't know. So is that? Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, but as we can see, it is quite slow, and it's annoying because you just kind of have to stand here forever. So I think I'm going to um, connect this world accelerator upgrade. Actually, I'm going to... Eh, do I need that? No, this is kind of temporary, I think. Well, I don't know. 
since I already built this out over there, actually pretty close. And that should... I can't remember how fast that takes. Or how... 37 seconds. Alright, that's just going to take a little time. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going to... I want to... At least hook this up for... While I'm doing all these things. Because, like I said, it is too fast. Or too slow. But it does appear, when I tested it, I didn't realize it actually pulled off... Pull the things off. I could maybe... I don't know, I'd have to do a little bit of... Testing with that. Maybe put... Like, evenly spread them out, maybe. Maybe I'll have to do that if I do this way, but... Uh, yeah. Let me get the... Yeah, let me get the rest of these things hooked up and then uh, we'll see how fast this goes. All right, I'm back. I am just turning this off. I want to double check. Yeah, that's off. Um, because the this thing will pull eight amps and I only have a, a thing that can handle eight amps. I didn't feel like replacing everything um, because this is probably going to be kind of temporary. So Let's turn that off and we should be good. I hopefully hopefully the wires won't burn up. But uh alright, so if we take a look. Did I screw something up? Oh, of course. <laughs> Gotta put the new thing in. Alright. So there we go. Takes, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. But if we actually turn this on, there we go, it's done. <laughs> but it does appear that it's pulling, it pulls it off too fast. Um, I wonder if we could do like 16 maybe, so it doesn't, doesn't do that. Otherwise I could probably just do Do like hoppers on each one, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I think that actually... Yeah, alright. So 16 seems to be fast enough. I mean, do we even need it faster than that? I can probably even start the next one. Yeah, I can start the next one before I even... <laughs> That's... Uh, gotta love, like, tick accelerators. That's pretty funny, actually. So, yeah, this is much, much better. But I just wanted to show this off, because I thought it was pretty funny. So what did I say? 16? 16 appears to... not pull them in faster than it can handle. With the, um... Yeah, it's not faster than the hoppers, basically. All right, let me just kind of finish this up and uh, we'll come back. All right, there is the ritual stones, so that should be... Yep, that's that completes, and I actually got some more demonic slates, but that's okay. <laughs> Eight seeds. Exciting. All right, so we got the ritual stones. We got the Awaken Activation Crystal. We got all the jars filled with the stuff that we need. Last thing we need is 15 million uh, essence in our network. I'm up to 4 million. But I do need 25 more. Or 25 Rune of the Orb things. So I got all the Demonic Slates. I need to get some Potentia. Empty Cores. Yeah, I need I do need 50 of these though. Um, but it's just simple catalyst and water glass. That's not the end of the world. It's gonna have to I'm probably just gonna have to Yeah. I'm gonna have to wait for this to refill, unfortunately. But uh 
Yeah, not the end of the world. Guess we'll... Um... I guess I can turn that back on. I just don't want this to... Turn this off. I'm gonna leave that there for now, because I have to craft up a whole ease. It's gonna take a little time, but... Uh... I just don't want to burn up any cables while I'm doing other stuff. Yeah, we're good. All right, so let me... I'm kind of doing two things here. We're doing the farm and uh, these slates. Let me get this done. I'm going to throw these all in here. I guess we'll just make a, a recipe for it. I don't... I'll probably just delete this recipe after I'm done with it. I don't... I probably won't be needing it after this. Uh, maybe I will. Who knows? All right, so there's one, and I need... What, 75? Is that right? I need 25 of these. Yeah. 25 times 3, so I need 75 of those. So 74 more. 600. <laughs> I needed 666 demonic slates for that. That's kind of funny. All right, so that's going, and uh, yeah, I just need to yeah craft these up, and then fill up the orb. That's going to take a while. I can't really speed that up anymore. I mean, it's going pretty fast, but uh, yeah, it's just going to take a while. All right, I am just crafting up the Potentia, the last little bit thing we need, and I'm actually kind of curious. Is this going to work on here? I put it, like, right next to it. Let me connect it. Oh yeah, that works. <laughs> wow, look at that. That looks funny. All right, so yeah, this stuff works. Obviously, it could probably go even faster than that, but... Uh... Well, I don't know. Should we try? Let's try in the last batch. Speed it up. Sounds like... looks weird. Can we... Ah, oh, where's my... screwdriver? The wrench. Alright. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty... That is pretty funny, actually. I like that. That's cool. It's good to know. Um, but I need to... I just don't want to burn up any cables, because I know it's pulling, like, a whole lot of power. I can't remember which one we're doing. That is so funny. <laughs> that looks hilarious. Alright, so yeah, it's getting pretty fun, actually. Beating this stuff up to, like, super fast. Which one was that again? I don't remember. That? Yeah, it was that.
Anyway, I just wanted to show that, point that, or show that. And that should be plus one. Yeah, there it is. Nice. All right, so that wasn't too bad, but I am going to uh, probably until I need it again. I'm going to just kind of break this down. I'll leave most of the cabling here, but I'm going to break these three, I think. Yeah, but I'll leave that there in case I want to connect it. All right, nice. We got the all the orbs. Let's do that. And uh, let's, I guess we'll place all these. I basically need two sides. I guess we should. So let me throw the magnet on because I do have that voiding thing down there. Twelve more. That's a good. Oh, I want to do this. Annoying because I'm like one off. Let's just do. Yeah, let's do. Edrun. These can all basically go. But. So we'll replace them with. Augmented capacity. Alright, so is that. No, I still have some more up here. Runes of Sacrifice, I think. Yeah. Alright, but there is the 25 Rune of the Orb that will let us get to. 15 million um but that's just gonna take a while so we'll let that run and uh next episode we will come back and summon the demon invasion um, but for the rest of this episode i want to continue with figuring out the seaweed so let me throw this back and there we go and all those seaweed should be fully grown i love that that is so much fun. All right, so the next part we need, let's see. Yeah, we'll just let that run. Um, so seaweed broth is what we're making. So we have those, we need to get this. So we need a large chemical reactor and the bacterial vat. And this is 80 seconds. All right, so both these require pretty high tier power. That's a five by five, this is a three by three. I'm just trying to figure out kind of how much space we need. I'm thinking I'm gonna do another building probably over this way, closer to the power station. Um, I want to really build it kind of nah, I don't really want to build it back there all right so I've got to figure out kind of where I want to build this maybe back here maybe this is I'm thinking this is probably where I'm gonna yeah where I think I'm gonna put it like back here it kind of goes with some of this stuff could do it over there but no yeah I think I'll do this over here. So that's the five by five. That's pretty easy to make. And then the chemical reactor. So let's see, what else do we need? So we have, there's our stem cells. We have agar. I think, I think this is pumped from a planet. I don't remember what planet I saw it on. 
going to need to All right, so this is going to take me a second to kind of figure out the best way, because that is three buckets of the stuff we need. Yeah, that that's annoying. I wonder if there's an easier way. It looks like that may be an easier way to... We do have 15,000 dust, but... Uh, all right, let me uh, kind of figure, sort some of this stuff out, and we will come back. All right, I am back and I have built a kind of building over here, getting it sort of set up here, trying to figure out exactly what we need. And uh, I think three, four, five, plus nine, so I need 14, so 13 of these. All right, so this should be the large chemical reactor. We look at the recipe for this. So I got the three input hatches and the three input buses. And then we have the one, the one um, for the unknown nutrient. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then I have this one set up for the bacterial vat, which is the is it the five by five? I think this is yeah, five by four by five. And if I remember, it's just it's really easy to craft actually. Just stainless steel casings and the the glass, and they don't need to be any sort of. I can just do the cheapest glass as well, and it's hollow, so it's actually yeah, that's really easy. Um. All right, so then I got to figure out all the different things that go with or trying to craft up the components for the stuff. Should form. Um, what I'm thinking is we will pump the... I think it's unknown... I don't know. Yeah, this unknown water. I feel like I saw it somewhere and I can't remember which planet, so I'm going to have to go search which planet it was. I think it can be get from a drill, but uh, I don't remember which planet it was because um, there's no other recipe for it. Um, but let's see. So stem cells and salt we got. So I could probably... Let's see. I should probably get... Yeah, let's get some uh, export buses going on here. I don't know how many we need. Might as well just craft a bunch up for that. And then, oh wait, these didn't form. Am I missing? Oops, I'm missing one. I am missing a thing right there. And these are going to be UV. I think I'm going to be upgrading this at some point, but the power situation quite isn't um, perfect yet. I have a room for 16 amps, but I don't know if I can handle pulling that many amps. So I'm going to have to kind of upgrade as needed here. Um, but we will get to that. So is that... Yeah, all right. So there we go. So this is the output. Then I have these. I might as well. Because these are all going to be underneath here, I think. At least for these. I may end up moving the input hatches. I'm going to... Actually, let's, let's leave that one there. Or why don't we... All right. <laughs> I'm doing so much stuff here at once. I can just to put a pump on that, actually. Let me... Let me put... Pump there, set to input or import. Yeah. And then I have a pump on this pulling from the under tank once I get that set up. And that will pull into the hatch. So, yeah. That's the one set. So, 
I'm actually going to leave these out this way. So I, I may need to move them up here if I have machines over here outputting into there. Um, but, uh, yeah, so export. Is it stuck on? Uh, it's the Certus screws. That's going to take a second. So we got salt. Plenty of salt here. And the stem cells. I'm going to have to figure out a better way to get stem cells. I think they work in the multi-block assembler. So I will probably have to set that up at some point because we're going to be going through those quite a lot, I believe. Right, so here we go. I guess we'll do these two. So stem cells. Salt. And I just did a... A small input bus. I didn't need anything else, I don't think, for this. So we need a stack. So I think that will be sufficient. I guess we'll come down like that's how we want to do it. Yeah, I'll probably come down here. Probably be easier to get to that. I'm assuming, I'm going to assume this is probably going to need more than eight channels at some point. So let's do that. Let's get it kind of set up. All right, so there's that. This should be outputting. Yeah, there it goes, salt. Yep. Yeah. And uh, all right, so that's at least that set up. The, and then the unknown water. We will pump. So I guess let's take a look at this agar stuff. So what are we looking at? Distilled water and a mixer. It is 30 seconds. So I'm going to need something obviously higher than HV. All right. So I'm going to have to start writing this stuff down because we're going to need a lot, I think, for this setup, which is pretty cool. I like setting up all these kind of complicated stuff. So uh, let's, let's pull this down. All right, so we're going to need a mixer. I'm thinking, I don't think I'm going to use UV, maybe a ZPM. I don't know, kind of just guessing as we go here. So mixer, gelatin. Let's see, how do we get gelatin? 30 seconds. Yeah, probably we'll just do a regular one, I think. Centrifuge. Probably ZPM again. Because I can do a whole bunch of machines at that level. And how do we get this? And this is a chemical reactor. It looks like water. And again, I don't really mind working with cells so that would be like a, yeah, a couple things we're going to need so another chemical reactor here this is easy enough diluted sulfuric acid bones and mincemeat all right so i'm going to have to set up a mob farm it looks like if i want to do this all right so like we we're kind of seeing here um this is going to i think 2x i think we needed for that So chemical reactor for this, chemical reactor for that. So let's see, mincemeat. Yeah, that's not going to be viable. I think you just pulverize. Don't you just pulverize some sort of... I feel like it's almost pushing us into like a fish thing. Do all these... Do we get all these from the... Yeah, I'm almost thinking maybe we should set this up. Maybe for mincemeat. Because we're going to need some here too, it looks like. All right, anything else? Probably 
yeah, some sort of meat we're going to need. Although chicken, if we are getting... Yeah, if we have our chicken farm running, I think that's probably what we're going to get from that. All right. So I need like a pulverizer for that. And then what was the last thing? This is just for this ar agar stuff. So this is definitely involved. Phosphoric acid. Appetite, water, and sulfuric acid is probably the easiest way to get that. Oxygen and phosphorus. Yeah, I'll probably do the appetite. The appetite's much faster, easier to get. I think I've used it all though. All right, so that, I think that was like a chemical reactor we're gonna need for that. A large chemical reactor. All right, so as we can see, I have a whole bunch of stuff I need to kind of figure out here just with this, but uh, I think before I wrap up the episode, I want to get this bacterial vet built. So uh, why don't I get the stuff crafted up for that? It's, uh, like I said, it's pretty easy uh, to craft, not a very complicated multi-block. So let me get that. We'll come back and uh, we'll get that um, formed and then uh, we'll wrap up the episode. All right, we are back and I think I got everything here. Everything is pretty typical of what we need. The only thing that is a little different is this UV radio hatch. And uh, this is easy enough, just some dense lead plates. I think I had every single one of these things on AutoCraft already, um, except for, I think, the cable. But uh, yeah, if we look at the radio hatches, there's a different... Each tier has a different capacity, I guess. I have no idea what the capacity does, because I've only kind of messed around with this a little bit in a test world, so not entirely sure, but uh, why don't we go ahead and get this thing uh, formed here. So we got the, the controller goes down in the middle and I'm gonna think probably, let's see. We'll put the energy hatch there just so it kind of like lines up. And then I think we'll just kind of put this all on the let's see maintenance hatch there. How about I'll put hatch there. The radio hatch there. Then yeah. I'll just kind of do these here for now. I don't know if this is gonna be how it's the final kind of layout, but yeah, that's the output hatch and that kind of goes in there. Yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that works. Is that five? Yeah. So as we can see, pretty, pretty easy multi-block, nothing too expensive. And then I think, I think these, will work the nickel uh, the nickel glass I don't think it matters what tier they are could be wrong though and then the top layer is that and we did have some kind of weirdness with this forming Yeah, there we go. You might have to break the controller and replace it to get it to form or just place it last. Um, but there we go. There is the bacterial vat and that is completely formed up here. Let me just quickly do some maintenance so that it goes away. But what am I doing? There we go. All right, so there is the bacterial vet, the chemical reactor. Obviously, we have a whole bunch of other things to craft up here, but we will I'll do that uh, in between the episode and uh, figure out all the different things. I have a feeling we are going to require a large amount of 
things. This is, I'm kind of getting a vibe. It's going to be kind of similar to this. Lots of small machines and big multi-blocks and all sorts of stuff for, uh, for this process. I haven't mapped it out fully yet though, so not 100% sure on that, but just judging by some of the recipes just for even, what was that, agar or whatever this stuff is called, all the different things that we need just for this material, it does look like it's going to be complicated. So I kind of have built it out and I'm kind of figuring it's going to come out this way, this building, I could even expand it out. Uh, that way. But uh, yeah, I'm going to, in between episodes, um, figure out, I need to figure out the unknown water. We got to get that sorted out and the all the different kind of things here. I got to figure out which planet this comes from. I think it's pretty sure it's a tier 8 planet, but I can't remember which one you pump it from. But uh, yeah, I will get that kind of sorted out now. The last kind of thing here, we finally got to the point that I think next episode we'll finally finish up Blood Magic, I think. I know we're kind of jumping back and forth between tech and Blood Magic, but uh, the whole point of Blood Magic was to get to this point, and I think we are finally there. So if we look, it's not pulling in anymore. But if we look, we are finally at 15 million LP. So I got enough LP. We got all the ritual stones. Um, I'm going to leave them in there for now. I have all the other stuff that we need to summon this. We got our activation crystal. Whatever it's called. Yeah, awakened activation crystal. So I think we are good to spawn the demon invasion and finally finish up blood magic. And uh, yeah, I think we'll won't have to deal with that anymore. I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, I did break the I broke the ritual under here, so it wasn't damaging the um because when it damages the mobs, it uses essence. So I didn't want that running. So I think we're yeah. Next episode, uh, we'll do that and get this uh, the demon invasion going. I gotta figure out which planet. I'll probably have the moon. I'm thinking the moon will summon this thing because it is quite large. But uh, yeah, we'll do that. And uh, like I said, I will also kind of um, plan out the, the next step in this whole kind of crazy CB production process. But uh, yeah, we'll get to that. Um, hopefully in the next episode or two. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.